well my dear student friends uh, due to this pandemic pandemic situation we are unable to take the physical classes so in spite of that we are engaging the classes through the online and uh, in the today's video lecture i am going to just i am going to highlighting the uh, bsc fourth semester physics syllabus actually the bsc fourth semester physics syllabus uh, it is mainly focused on the physical optics and electricity too uh, in the previous semester i mean in the bsc third semester we have already studied the geometrical optics and electricity in the geometrical optics we uh, we have already studied that is the uh, uh, regarding about the that is a geometrical optics and abbreviations and the type of the abbreviations and uh, that is the we can say it as a uh, that is the optical points these things we have already studied in the geometrical optics in the geometrical optics we are going to consider it as a light as a ray light as a ray what it means light as a ray means which is moving in the straight line path which is moving in the straight line path and in the geometrical optics we are going to discuss uh, about the some of the phenomena like uh, reflection refraction and uh, uh, these things we are going to study in the geometrical optics we have already studied and uh, what about the physical optics what what is the difference between the physical optics and geometrical optics before going to discuss these things i hope you already know that light it has a dual nature dual nature means actually light which is propagated in the form of wave means sometimes it behaves like a wave sometimes it behaves like a particle especially in the photoelectric effect we are going to observe uh, it is acting as a particle in the uh, wave nature we are going to observe some of the phenomena like interference diffraction and uh, this polarization these things we are going to discuss and uh, in the wave form and uh, actually in the physical optics means especially in the physical optics we are going to consider light which is propagated in the form of wave light which is propagated in the form of wave and when light is propagated in the form of wave it is behaving means it is showing some of the phenomena those phenomena are interference diffraction and this polarization again this diffraction and polarization so here again we are going to sum up the things we are going to consider uh, that is geometric optics means the light which is traveling in the straight line path especially in the interference we are going to consider it is as a wave okay so uh, and the, in the electricity too in the electricity one we have already studied about the some of the electric instruments and measurements and uh, that is um, uh, again we have already studied about the biot severs law these are all things current that is the current electricity those things we have already studied in the uh, previous semester and here uh, in the electricity part 2 we are going to discuss about the thermoelectricity and electromagnetic theory and especially again we are going to, we are discussing about the uh, that is the alternating current that is a ac current those things we are going to study in the electricity part 2 and uh, i hope you already know that as per our syllabus there are the five units and the first unit is related to the interference that is related to the physical optics so here we are going to uh, discuss about the what is the interference that is the definition of the interference and uh, uh, what are the types of the interference so how it is going to be occur here the interference due to the division of the wave front and interference due to the division of amplitude and uh, here in the division of wave front the interference due to the division of wave front here we are going to discuss about the fresnel by prism and determination of the wavelength of the monochromatic light and uh, interference due to division of amplitude here we are going to discuss about the stokes treatment of a reflection and transmission at a interface and uh, again in the interference we are going to discuss about the thin films condition for maxima and minima in case of a reflected light 
there is a derivation part is there and again we are going to disc uh, discuss about the multiple reflection multiple reflection and uh, the mention of the condition for maxima and minima in case of a transmitted light the theory of the newton rings so how the newton rings going to be occurs those things uh, regarding about the newton rings we are going to discuss in the interference and uh, the next one is a michelson interferometer so there is a michelson interferometer there is some one experiment is there and here we are going to discuss about the formation of the circular and the straight fringes uh, especially there is no derivation part is there only qualitative things we are going to discuss here and a determination of the wavelength of the monochromatic light determination of the monochromatic wavelength of the monochromatic light there is a small derivation is there those things we are going to discuss in the interference chapter that is the first unit in the second unit we are going to discuss about the diffraction so definition of the diffraction how the diffraction is going to be occurs and uh, again in the diffraction again there are we are going to bifurcate into two types one is a fresnel class diffraction and another one is a fronhofer class diffraction and uh, uh, again in the fresnel class fresnel theory of the half period zone uh, considering the plane wave rectilinear propagation of the light zone plate construction theory expression for focal length and uh, comparison uh, with the convex lenses these things we are going to discuss in the fresnel class diffraction and again one more thing is there that is a fronhofer class diffraction so how the fronhofer class diffraction that we are going to discuss those things and here the composition of the n number of simple harmonic motions of the same amplitude and uh, period having their phase increasing in a arithmetic progression uh, diffraction at a single slit plane transmission grating and its theory dispersive power of the grating resolving power of the prism and the grating there is a derivation part is there those things we are going to discuss in the second unit that is uh, uh, the fronhofer class diffraction so this is all about the uh, second unit syllabus and again that is a third unit it is related to the polarization so in the polarization chapter we are going to discuss about the the how what is the polarization and again here uh, the definition of the polarization and again in the polarization chapter we are going to discuss about the moles law eigen's theory of the double refraction positive and negative crystals uh, retardation plates quarter wave plate half wave plate analysis of a polarized light production of a circularly elliptically polarized light optical activity fresnel theory of a rotatory polarization that is a qualitative things we are going to discuss in the polarization chapter and uh, here these three units are related to the physical optics and again in the three third unit uh, uh, as per our syllabus they have uh, uh, again they have included the electricity uh, part that is uh, in the third unit Uh, actually it is related to the electricity so here we are discussing about the alternating current that is nothing but ac current that is a ac so uh, here we are going to discuss about the operation j uh, organ diagram lcr series circuit expression for the current impedance phase uh, and uh, condition for resonance frequency bandwidth quality quality factor and their relation these things we are going to discuss in the alternating current and again there is one more thing is there lcr parallel circuit uh, here lcr series circuit and lcr parallel circuit we are going to discuss in the this chapter there is a lcr parallel circuit expression for the admittance and conduction for uh, resonance using the j operator method uh, in the this uh, included in the fourth unit Uh, in the fourth unit again it is related to the electricity these things alternating current and the lcr parallel lcr parallel in series circuits and in the fourth unit uh, we are going to discuss about the that is related to the electricity actually it is a, a very interesting topic that is a thermo electricity thermo means heat and electricity is nothing but a current so uh, we will discuss in a detail in the next uh, video lecture so what actually uh, here what we are going to discuss in the thermo electricity especially in the thermoelectricity we are uh, going to discuss about the seebeck effect and what is the seebeck effect and uh, its explanation variation of emf with the temperature uh, neutral temperature and uh, 
temperature of inversion, thermoelectric series, law of thermoelectric effect, Peltier effect explanation, Peltier coefficient, thermodynamic of a Peltier effect, uh, Thomson effect explanation, Thomson coefficient, derivation and relations are there. So those things we are going to discuss in the thermoelectricity chapter and again we are going to discuss about the thermoelectric diagram. Uh, its application to determine the total EMF, Peltier EMF, Thomson EMF, neutral temperature and temperature of inversion. These things we are going to discuss in the fourth unit that is nothing but a thermoelectricity. In the fifth unit we are going to discuss about the uh, that is related to the electricity too. So yeah, the unit name is electromagnetic theory. In a short form we can call it as the EMT, electromagnetic theory. Uh, especially in the electromagnetic theory, uh, before going to start this unit, we are going to discuss some of the mathematical background of the electromagnetic theory. So, actually, these mathematics is very essential for the understanding this electromagnetic theory. Without knowing the mathematics, it is difficult to understand. So, uh, so in the in this uh, unit, we are going to discuss about the mathematical background that is the gradient of scalar. I hope you already studied in the first few stages, scalar, vector and these things. Here again, that is the continued part only. So that is the basics and again here continued part, mathematical background, that is the gradient of scalar, divergence and curl of vector, their physical significance, Gauss, Stokes and Green's theorem. That is uh, without a proof. And uh, again we are going to discuss about the, uh, especially Maxwell's equations. So, derivation of the Maxwell's equation in a different forms, mention of the integral form and their physical significance. Actually, uh, Maxwell's equation, it has in the differential form and integral form. Here, uh, they have, here we are discussing with the both, that is the differential form and also in the integral form and their physical significance. What are the physical significance of the Maxwell's equation? Actually, mainly there are the four Maxwell's equation in the thermo uh, uh, that is the electromagnetic theory. And uh, again, we are going to discuss about the derivation of the general plane wave equation in a free space, transverse nature of the radiation, and uh, pointing theorem. That is the uh, actually this is a very important point in the electromagnetic theory that pointing theorem derivation. So these things we are going to discuss in the electromagnetic theory. This is all about the uh, the highlight of the uh, BSc fourth semester physics syllabus. So in the next video lecture, we are going to uh, start with the first unit that is uh, interference. So this is all about the syllabus of fourth uh, semester physics syllabus. So uh, we'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.